Hi friends, Pastor Cindy Garris here. And I just wanted to say happy triduum. You may be like, what? Triduum is these three holy days before Easter. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. And I just wanted to tell you how much I will be missing you in the coming days. Um, Monday, Thursday is one of my favorite services throughout the year. In fact, in our worship folder or in one of the folders online that you can access, there is um, an at-home Monday, Thursday service. I'm going to be walking through a bit of that this evening with our youth via Zoom. But I am sad that I can't be with you in person around tables in the fellowship hall. But I want to invite you on this holy day to take a look as we approach the end of this holy week and Jesus' passion gets even more intense as far as the suffering that he goes through, the betrayal, the denial. And I wanted to invite you to read uh, John 13, especially verses 1 through 15. It is the story of Jesus and the disciples in the upper room. And he um, not only institutes the Last Supper, but he also uh, washes their feet. The disciples find themselves in a precarious position because how are they going to receive a washing of feet, dirty, grimy, grungy feet, that is from their teacher, their Lord, their master, whatever language you want to use, they are following him, and he goes and does this for them. And then he invites them to follow his example, follow his lead, and go and do this to one another and do likewise. And my favorite line in this part of John's Gospel is, and knowing where he's come from, and where he was going. Jesus took off his outer garment, placed a towel around him, and stooped to wash the disciples' feet. He knew. He knew what was going to happen. He knew where he'd come from. He knew all the power that God had given and all that glory that he had come from. And he knew he was going back to all of that. And what did he decide to do? Not point out all their failings. Not dismiss them out of hand. But he washes their feet. He's incredibly intimate with them. He invites them to be incredibly intimate with him and with one another. He invites them to be vulnerable. As we continue following Jesus this Holy Week, we too are invited to acknowledge to God and to one another our vulnerability. We are invited to ask, what is it that I need to be, that needs to be washed in me? What needs to be clean? We see Peter saying, not just my feet, but my hands and my head, all of me. He's ready to finally give in and say, okay, Jesus, if you're going to do this, then make sure you get it all. And Jesus says, that's not really necessary. But if you think about the ways that their pride has gotten in the way so much as they've come to this time, come up to this time, and what does he do? doesn't really reprimand them for it, but invites them to have their feet washed and then to wash one another's feet. Very vulnerable, very intimate act. So as you come into this holy three days before Easter Sunday, 
I invite you to ask, what is it that needs to be clean in me? You're welcome to, uh, I invite you not only to read John 13, but you may listen. I'll include a link here to listen to an app that I love called Pray As You Go. But they have online versions, and today's reading is this reading and gives a small meditation on meditating the scripture with it. So I invite you to do that as well. Perhaps you turn off every electronic thing in your house other than maybe your phone or your computer if you're watching this or if you're listening to them walk through that. Maybe light a candle and think about what it would have been like for them in that room. Knowing all of the uncertainty that they hold and that was held for them, all the uncertainty that is held in us. And Jesus is able to let it go, to equalize it. Friends, know that I love you. I hope that you are well and you are safe. And pray that you will have a very blessed rest of Holy Week and Easter. Just a reminder that um, tomorrow in the afternoon at 3 p.m. I will be doing a live via Zoom Stations of the Cross devotion at 3 o'clock tomorrow evening. Um, there will be a service online uh, around 7 o'clock. Um, uh, that will be a tenebrae service, a service of shadows, where we walk through Jesus' last day, that Holy Friday. And then on Saturday, Holy Saturday, Patricia Snyder has invited us to a contemplative uh, journey in the in between, and you can find Patricia's link also on the page of our Zoom links. One day at a time, we journey, whether it's slow or whether it's fast, we journey together. Take care, keep safe, keep well, hold one another in prayer. God bless.